Hello guys, this is Professor Rees. Uh, this week we're going to be working on the website. So I'm changing up the assignment that we have on Canvas because that one is a little old school and it's also difficult to understand without me having to explain a lot of things. So we're actually going to be working on a hands-on project. So this is probably going to be broken down into either three or four videos. Uh, three minutes long, I mean 10 minutes long, so we're going to be working on a couple of those. So you're going to have to watch all those videos to be able to complete this assignment. This is going to recap on the previous assignment that we worked on for this previous last week. Uh, so we are going to be creating a uh, forms and we're also going to be creating a sheets document. So we're going to be creating two of those to be able to interact with their websites. So what I mean by a website, I mean we're going to be creating an actual website now. We're not going to publish this website, but you do have the ability to uh, get a domain and publish it uh, and then utilize it. But this is basically the basics on showing you how to create a website. When you're done, your website is going to look something like this one right here. So let me go into view. So your website is going to look something like this right here, where we have the main website. We have an RSP button, ceremony time, reception time. Then at the top, we have a respond back with the form. And then we also have uh, wedding pictures. We're going to be inserting some pictures. All right. So let's get started. So this is going to be the first video. So I'm going to break it down into a few parts because otherwise it's going to be too long. So uh, let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go sign into Google. Obviously, you guys have to be signed into Google. And then we're going to look for Google Sites. Go back. Search for Google Sites, and then we're going into Google Sites. So once you're signed in, this is going to take you to this screen, and that's the screen that I had over here open at the beginning of the video. So I'm just going to close this one since I have it open over here. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a blink. We do have some templates, and you always have the ability to start get started from a template. But I honestly like to always start clean because it lets me configure my own ideas and then I don't have to start changing things that are there. So I like to start clean. So we're going to get started with a blank document. All right, so this is our blank document. So we essentially don't have anything here at all. And that's exactly what we want. So the first thing that we want is to change the site name. So I, because this is going to be a wedding uh, related web page, um, we're going to be editing this to look more like a wedding template. So usually wedding templates begin with the names uh, of the people who are getting married. So we're going to start with her name. So we're going to call it, uh, we're going to say Kim. And Jeff. So Kim and Jeff, very simple. Now, this is very simple. So I want to get started from the beginning by changing the theme. Theme for this website. So by going over here to the right, we're going to go into themes. And we're going to change that to diplomat. This is going to change how our website looks. We have Aristotle vision, level, impress, impression, and then diplomat, and then of course simple. So diplomat, we're going to go with that because it's very, very simple, and that's exactly what we want. And we're going to leave it on this basic color right here, the, the first one. So we want to leave it like this because this is exactly what we're looking for. Now, now that we change that, I'm going to go back into insert. And we're going to start customizing this right here. 
So we are going to be changing this right here, this title. So we want this title to read our wedding. We're going to press the enter key. This is going to bring the text under underneath. And then we are going to change the division to the middle. So the font, we want it to be in the middle. And here we're going to enter text. So I'm going to say uh, the date. We're just going to be entering a date. And it can be any date. So I'm going to say 72320, uh, 7 23 2021. Uh, that's too big. All right, so we're going to change this to subheading. Maybe make it bold. Yeah. So change this text to subheading and then make it bold. So it's going to make it look a little bit nicer. Now we're going to go at the beginning of our, our wedding. Press enter. And then this is going to create a space up here. And then we're going to be changing this to subheading again. And then we're going to enter the following text. We are our we're getting married this just makes it look a little bit nicer a little bit bulkier bigger and this is exactly what we want makes it look nicer so after that we're going to be changing the header type uh, by clicking here on header we're going to go into a cover this is going to make this is going to make it look nice and big. Now that we do that, we're going to click on this again, and then we're going to be changing the image. So select an image. We're going to go to search, and we're going to be looking for uh, we're just going to look for wedding. We're going to select our colors right here because this will go with the color that we're doing in the back. So we're selecting an image that is like, that has a great tones, that way our letters stay white. If we were to select a different one, our letters on the back would look different and we don't want that to happen. So we can do one of these ones. I guess the image is really irrelevant, but you know, of course, when it's a website and it's before the, it's, before the wedding, so it's going to be pre wedding pictures. Uh, it can be something like this, nothing really special. Uh, so it, it is pre wedding. You can do the wedding, whichever image that you want. I'm just going to say pre wedding because usually when they do uh, a website, it's going to be with the pre wedding images. So in this case, we're going to be doing this one right here. So that's my image, and that's, this is how it looks right now. All right, so I got Kim and Jeff. We're getting married. Our wedding, 7-23-2021. All right. All right. Under here, we're going to be adding more information. So now we're going to go into inserting a button. That's going to be right here. So we're going to click on the, the button option. Call that RSVP, and then we don't have a link, so let's do cancel on that. So let's go to pages up here, and then we're going to be inserting a new page, and we're going to call that RSVP, RSVP, do enter, and then we're going to be entering another one, it's called wedding pictures. And then we're going to do enter. So we have RSVP and then we have wedding pictures. So let's go back to home. Insert. Go down right here. Enter a button. RSVP. And now our link is going to give us the options that we uh, for two web pages because we created RSVP. And then we have wedding pictures. So we want to insert RSVP. Because when people click on that button, 
we want them to be redirected to the RSVP page that we just created, which is showing up here, home RSVP wedding pictures. All right, so we want our button to look like that. And the only thing that we do is want to move the button so that it's on the middle. So our button is going to be right here, right in the center. Okay, let's proceed. So now we're going to be entering a layout. And the layout that we want is this one right here. So the first layout is going to enter a layout that looks like this. And we are going to be inserting a image. So I'll select image, Google search. We're going to say wedding. So we're going to say wedding. And from here, we're going to be selecting um, I guess it can be all that wedding cake and the wedding and we can insert any picture. So I'm going to go with this one right here, insert it. We have that. Uh, actually, no. Let me delete that. So let's start all over. So insert a layout. We can put the plus right here, select image, wedding image. So if you had already selected a picture, that's fine. I messed up, so that's why I went back and I redid it. I wasn't happy with that. Could have just left it, but you know, my OCD didn't let me. So we're gonna do that. So we inserted a picture. We're gonna click here. We're gonna enter ceremony. And then change this to the middle. Highlight it and make a bold. Then we're gonna be entering text. We're gonna change the spacing to the middle as well. Leave it on normal text. Here we're gonna enter the address. So it can be any address. Then we're gonna call this East uh, Gray Hills Avenue. And this is located in uh, Actually, no, that's the address, press enter. And then, mm, I guess the name of the place, we can call it, uh, mm, uh, Magical Garden. Ma Magical Gardens. And bold that. Sweet. So let's go in front of the M. Press the enter key one more time, and we're actually going to be entering a time. So let's say 4 p.m. Highlight that text, and then that we're going to change to a heading. So we got ceremony, 4 p.m., Magic Gardens, 3253 East Great Hills Avenue. And we can see that this is located at uh, 94567 uh, Lan Lancaster Lancaster, California. We're gonna go with that. Awesome. So after we're done with this, we're gonna be entering a divider. And that's just going to create a little division and enter a line right there. So we have our ceremony. Now we need a reception. So right after, right under our divider, we're going to be entering a text. And that is going to be mostly just for space. So we're not going to put anything right here. Just leave it blank, just for space. So after that, we're going to be inserting another layout. It's going to be the first layout right here. Now under this layout, we're going to be inserting a another image. So we're going to click the plus button. We're going to go select an image and we're going to be looking for a wedding picture. So as before, we're just going to select any random image. 
I'm gonna go with this one right here, insert it, and then we have a image. Now with this image right here, we can either leave it here or we can do, you know, where the image is here and the text is over here. And we can do that by dragging it. So we can always drag that until we get this blue bar right here on the side. And then we'll drop the image there. So now we have a image here, image here. To me, it looks a little bit more professional. So it's more for aesthetics than rather essential. So, you know, we don't really need it, but it does look really nice when we do this it just looks a little bit more professional so up here we're gonna say reception reception highlight this text make it bold and move it to the middle now we're gonna go back and highlight our text that we previously entered and then right click it and then copy this text go down here select uh, this box to enter the text and then we're going to paste it so this is going to basically uh, duplicate that now, most weddings are located in the same place and they, they usually take place in the same venue so people would get married there and then they have the reception now if this is different you can do something different but for convenience i'm just going to say that i'm going to say 5 p.m because they're usually uh right out the back so I'm also going to make some spacings right there, some spacings over here. So ceremony, 4 p.m., reception, 5 p.m. Same thing as we did before, we enter a divider just for aesthetics. Uh, now to play with a little bit with the colors for our website, I'm going to select the, this box right here, the, this layout. And then I'm going to go to uh, background, uh, section background, and I'm going to be changing this to emphasis number two. This is going to change the color. And this is all for aesthetics. It just makes it look nicer. I'm going to do the same one, same thing for the, for the bottom one. And now this is going to change the colors. So now we have a website that is basically done with the home page. So we have our home page and we are done with it we have a respond back button we have the ceremony and then we have the reception so i'm going to stop the video right here for this part and then i'm going to continue on the second part so i'm thinking that's probably going to take three or four parts so we don't i'm not sure right now we do have the rsp the wedding and we still have to create a four mini sheets so this is it for this part. Click on the next one, uh, the next part, and then we'll get started with the second portion. So we're done with the home page for now.